But I'm telling you, you can have it. You can have true happiness. And most people think true happiness is getting what you want. But true happiness is recognizing what you already have. If you have Jesus, you have everything you need. Jesus is enough. Jesus is fulfilling. So, to do this, I need to talk about feelings with you for a minute. We need to talk about feelings, very important. Most people do not understand how God feels about feelings. He doesn't want you to deny your feelings. But that's what most people think, is that God wants us to deny our feelings. I'll give you an example. The Bible says, if you're angry, don't sin, right? We know that. The Bible says if you're angry, don't go to bed angry. We know that. But the Bible didn't say to stuff down your anger and shut it down and pretend you're not angry when you are. And the Bible didn't say when things are bothering you to stuff it down and pretend it's not there. That's not what the Lord asked us to do. He asked us to give him those feelings to cast our cares upon him when we're feeling hurt. Give your hurt to Jesus. It says Jesus took our hurts on the cross, took his sins on the cross, and that even includes our hurt feelings. So when my feelings are hurt, I go to Jesus and I tell him my feelings have been hurt. And you know what he does? He takes the hurt feelings from me on the cross, the feelings of neglect or whatever it is, loneliness, all those negative feelings, he takes them off of me and he restores the joy. This is what David had to do when he messed up. David did a lot of bad things. King David, I'm not talking about you, David. Oh, sorry, Jeremy. You forgive me? King David. <laughs> King David did a lot of wrong things. And he came to the Lord and he said, I feel terrible about myself. I, I just feel awful about myself, all the wrong things I've done. And he asked God to forgive him, and then he said, Lord, restore to me your joy, the joy of your salvation. So we're not supposed to deny our feelings. We're actually supposed to acknowledge them to God. But here's the key. Acknowledging, acknowledging your feelings to God. He didn't say, get on the phone, tell everybody how you feel, go on social media and tell everybody how you feel. You don't get on the computer and go, hey everybody, type, 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 I'm super upset today. That is not wise. And people will not like it. People don't want to hear all your problems posted Online, and one guy answered back and said, "Just I've said this before, but it's worth saying again." Said Facebook is not your therapist, <laughs> and when we do that, we're not allowing God to have access to let Him help us with our problems. Before you go talk to everybody about your problems, have you considered going to the one? First, the one person first who has the answers for all your problems, it could save you a lot of time. Sometimes I just feel upset. I don't know what to do about it. I, you know, have you ever had that happen? Say, I just feel upset. I don't know why, but I feel upset. I feel upset. I get alone with the Lord. I tell him I feel upset. And you know what the name for the Holy Spirit is? The Comforter. And if you'll take a moment to get alone with God, he'll comfort you, and he can remove the upset feeling. That's called casting your cares upon him. So it's okay to have feelings, but what you do with them 
You don't want to use your feelings to hurt others. De denying your feelings and pretending they're not there, faking it till you make it. Have you heard that saying? Fake it till you make it. Well, I gotta go to this party, but I feel upset. So I guess I'll just put on I'll put on my smile face and I'll fake it. <laughs> People aren't dumb. They know when you're faking it. And then they'll say, oh, it seems like something's bothering you. No, I'm fine. I'm just fine. Shut up. Shut up. I'm just fine. But it seems like something's bothering you. Shut up. I'm fine. See, God didn't ask us to fake it. He never asked you to fake it. He asked you to come to him and give him your cares, your concerns, and he will comfort you. I mean, when the Bible says the Holy Spirit's the comforter, did you know it's written in bold print, capital letters? It's not a little comfort. It's a lot of comfort. But denying how you feel and stuffing it down is unhealthy. It will make you spiritually sick and you won't be happy. You don't have to do that. Now I'm going to show you some examples from the Bible to show you that God doesn't deny feelings and he allows us to have feelings. Okay? I'm going to start with Jesus. When Jesus felt sad, he wept. The shortest scripture in the Bible is two words, Jesus wept. And when Jesus got angry, he let his anger show. He was very angry with the the hypocrites. And Jesus called them hypocrites to their face and he called them snakes. So if you think Jesus was this nice guy who just never confronted anybody, it's not true. But he didn't sin. He didn't let his anger turn into sin. And if you, if you think God doesn't allow you to express your feelings, if you think as a songwriter, every song you write has to be happy, Think again. Let's take Jeremiah for an example. There's a whole book in the Bible in the Old Testament. Do you know what it's called? Lamentations. It was written by Jeremiah. A whole book in the Bible is Jeremiah talking about how upset he is about God's people worshiping idols instead of worshiping God. There's a whole book in the Bible about it. It's called Lamentations. What's a lament? A sad song. But he didn't stay sad. He expressed his feelings. Let's use another example. King David. The Psalms of King David. He covers about every emotion he has in that book. He expresses when he's happy. He expresses when he's mad. He expresses when he's sad. He expresses when he's lonely. It's all in the Bible. Now that's in the Bible. It was okay for him to express his feelings, but he had to keep a good attitude. And this is the secret. You can express how you feel, but keep a good attitude. You might feel lonely, you might feel sad. You might feel worried. You might feel very concerned. But don't let those feelings turn into a bad attitude. You say, what's a bad attitude? When you start saying, I wonder if God's even there. I wonder if God even cares. Now you're going south, going the wrong way. You're going down. Because the Bible already says God cares. So if you say, I wonder if God even cares, you're going the wrong way. Your attitude's shifting now from a good attitude to a bad attitude. Don't let your feelings make your attitude go wrong. It's okay to have feelings. Now, if I were to summarize this in one sentence, you may want to write it down, but you don't have to, but put it in your spirit. It's okay to have feelings. Just don't let feelings have you. This is the key. It's okay to have feelings. Just don't let those feelings have you. 
And you know, anger is a good example. The Bible didn't say it's a sin to have anger. But it warrants what you do with it. And see, if you let the anger get the best of you, now you don't have anger. Anger has you. It's got a hold of you. and You're out of control. Flying off like a loose cannon. Blasting. Hurting innocent people. Saying things you shouldn't say. Doing things you shouldn't do. Why? What happened? You started out. You had anger. But now anger has you. It's taken over. So again. Okay to have feelings. Okay to feel anger. Happiness. Joy. Sadness. Loneliness. It's okay to feel those things. But don't let them get the best of you. That's why the Lord told us to rule like Jesus rules. Jesus rules. He wants you to rule. He wants you to rule over your feelings. He wants you to rule over your appetite. He wants you to be in control. You can do it. He's given you that authority. And if you'll use the authority, you'll come out winning. So here's a few examples. We'll just go through them quickly again. And I'm even going to use some positive uh, emotions to show you how you don't want those to take you on the wrong road. Example. We've talked about this one already. It's okay to, to feel anger, but don't let that anger turn into sin where you're hurting people or others. Next one, sadness. Okay to feel sad for a little while, but don't let the sadness lead to self-pity and a pity party. And this next one is funny. You know New Year's Day is coming, right? Happiness. It's okay to be happy, really excited. But don't let your happiness lead you to an animal house. Don't let your happiness turn you into a party animal where now you're becoming destructive. You're just so happy you're flying off the rails, drunk out of your mind. You're so happy. You see, even the positive emotions can be de become very destructive. I've seen this happen at family gatherings where a person is really happy and they're having a great day. They show up at the party, they're so happy. And they're going on and on about how happy they are about everything. And someone else shows up at the family gathering and they've been having a really hard time. They're going through a tough period in their life. And they meet the person who's having a great day and is happy. And the happy person, their happiness has caused them to become insensitive to the other person who's hurting. And they're in a great mood and then they start saying stuff like, What's their problem? Why, why are you so down for? You see, the happiness has now become insensitive to others. So we have to balance all these things. God gave us all these feelings. He wants you to have them. He doesn't want you to deny them. But he wants you to rule over them and not allow them to cause hurt to others or yourself. And that's a pretty simple message, isn't it? I mean, it's not hard. He just said to let, let the Lord rule. And again, last thing, conclusion, okay, have feelings. Just don't let feelings have you. Don't let them get the best of you. And remember that Jesus went through many hard things, but he didn't allow his feelings to cause him to do the wrong thing. He did it right, we can do it right too. And now, it's time for some Christmas songs, okay? Christmas songs. I'd like the other members to come up, we'll sing a few Christmas songs. 
seat together. They're on the back page.